To draw my force diagrams, I'm going to refer to this table which I'm about to create. For this table, um, I'm going to just um, group some keywords and some key points um, into the two different types of motion that you end up getting in level one physics. So you've got your constant speed and your non-constant speed. For constant speed, if you pick apart the word constant, that pretty much tells you that the speed isn't changing. So this is for objects that, for example, might be moving at 100 meters per second and it stays that way, or even objects uh, which have a constant speed of zero meters per second, so stationary, could be grouped in here as well. Over on the other side of the table for non-constant speed, this is when the speed is changing. So if the speed is changing, it could be going up, so accelerating, or going down, so decelerating. Coming back to constant speed though, if something has constant speed, I can tell you right now that it means that there's no net forces, and if there's no net forces, then we describe those forces as being balanced, and we can represent that on a force diagram by using the same sized arrows. For non-constant speed, I get the other case. So that means that your speed is increasing or decreasing. It means that there is a net force present, which means that um, your forces are not balanced. And you show that using different sized arrows on your force diagram. We're going to keep a mental note of this table and put it over to the side for now. And we're going to do um, an example of um, force diagrams by looking at this little boat. It is a boat that is just floating happily in the water and it is not going anywhere, so stationary. It is a stationary boat. And let's go ahead and put some force arrows on it. The boat's not moving, but when I put force arrows on it, I need to think about the vertical direction and the horizontal direction. So let's go ahead and talk about the vertical direction first. On the vertical axis, there is a force that is going down, which is the weight of the boat. Now to stop this boat from sinking um, or going down into the water, there needs to be um, a um, support force called buoyancy holding the boat up in the water as well. Now, I use the same sized arrows here because it's stationary. So stationary, no net force, balanced, same sized arrows. In the horizontal direction now, I've said that the boat isn't going anywhere, so there's actually no forwards thrust forces or backwards drag forces. We're gonna leave it like that. But let's say, for example, the boat does actually start to accelerate forward. So the boat starts to accelerate forwards. Now, I come back um, to the same idea as before, where I consider the vertical and the horizontal. So thinking about the vertical, I can see that the weight of the boat doesn't suddenly change, so I need to use the same sized arrow going down. It's not a boat that's flying up into the air or sinking straight down, so it's stationary in the vertical direction. So stationary in the vertical direction, I come back to my table, it's got no net forces, the forces are balanced, so I use the same sized arrows in the vertical direction. I then think about the horizontal direction where I've said that the boat is accelerating forwards. In the horizontal direction, because it is accelerating forwards, that means that there is a net force, the forces are unbalanced, and I show that using different sized arrows. And since it is accelerating, I'm putting thrust as larger than drag. No, Licky, go sleepy time. Scratchy is not a good idea too. Look, I can see the microphone picking it up. It's got a sound meter. I can hear your little bell ringing. Okay, are you quiet time? Nope, still scratchy, scratchy. 